On 1st of July, protesters have stormed into the legislature, the Legislative Council of Hong Kong. That has never happened before. Um, there's a lot of um, vandalization, a lot of shouting, a lot of abuses. Um, but the intention was not entirely clear. It, it leaves, also leaves some uh, media a little bit confused because why choose that day? Why choose this way of expressing what they want? Given that some, uh, the, the outstanding extradition bill is already being shelved, we want to find the voice of this entire movement. And Brian Leung is the only person who removed that his face mask. So um, we want to find out what's happening. Why do they do this? Is violence even acceptable in, in that very context? And why, uh, why him? Why did he personally choose to do that? We later understand that he left Hong Kong after, right after the movement, right after storming into Lechko. But we managed to make contact um, afterwards through a third party, which we both know. He took a, some kind of a great risk because uh, anyone storm inside could be uh, sued for an awful assembly, uh, for rioting. Uh, in that interview, he explained himself, his intention, uh, why he had no regrets because he felt removing his face mask and asking everyone to leave was needed at that moment to try to make sure the movement goes on. Uh, and it also goes beyond just mere violence. Uh, it wasn't violence for violence's sake, to quote his own word. At that point of time, when protesters stormed into Lechko, uh, one of the main questions that readers, local or foreign, and even some of the foreign media would ask was that, why protesters still need to do that, uh, given the government already shelved the bill? Brian's uh, account sort of helped explain uh, the, the intention of the protesters. What they asked for is already beyond uh, the substance of the bill. It was already how the bill was being um, put, uh, put on the table. There were peers arrested. And uh, the more important part was to call for immediate electoral reform. They are looking for democracy and uh, freedom as well. That interview, when it was published, um, helped explain, helped fill the void in a sense to um, why protesters still need to resolve to this kind of more radical measures which has never happened before in, in, in Hong Kong.